In this lesson, we're going to be using Cocoa Pods to install the SDK. So let me launch the terminal. And uh, here is saying that uh, I have to, I need to have the version 1.1.0 of the Cocoa Pods. So let me do pod slash slash version to see the version I'm running. And uh, 1.3.1. So I think we have version better than 1.1.0. So we should be good. So the next thing now is to um, let's close this project so that we can. I'm going to close. I'm going to quit Xcode. Quit Xcode. So I'm going to cd into the desktop. And then let me list all the file. So I want to cd into the push notification app. So cd push noti notification app now i can okay so i'm inside the push notification app what i want to do is i want to inst uh, initialize a pod you should know how to do all of this already so now that we have a pod file let's open the push notification app and then open the pod file what i want to do is i want to replace inside the you can see that this one say target one signal notification service extension which is the same thing here so inside that we want to paste this one that's a pod install one signal uh let's just do this yep so just do what i'm doing okay <laughs> and then inside the the one that's a target project name do you want to that's why i say you need to come here often on the documentation to see if any of the steps has changed so i'm going to delete this i'm going to paste there let me delete the comments so i've saved my pod file and i'm going to let me make sure that everything is fine it looks fine to me okay so now let's go back to the and then I do pod install. So pod install. He said we should do pod re repo update first. So let's do that. And then after that, we do pod install. All of these steps might seem uh, quite a lot, but they're actually not. Once you do it once or two times, then it becomes, it becomes nothing. I mean, I've done this so many times, so. I don't find it hard. Just take your time to do it. The reason why the reason why it seems so long is because I don't like to do longer videos. I like my videos to be f maximum of five to six minutes. So that's why I'm breaking them into different. Um, let's wait until it's complete. It looks like it's complete. So now let's do pod install to install the dependency so you can see it's installing the one signal sdk into the file now so let's wait for that to finish and it looks like it's completed so now we need to open the workspace not the xcode proj we have to open now the xc workspace so let's open that okay let's build our app now let's launch command b to build the app This is the most scary part because if you have error here, then uh, right, build succeeded. So that is a good thing. In the next video, we're going to continue with the next step. So now what we've done is to, let me show you, we've installed the one signal. Now we do not have any error anymore. So we've installed the SDK into our app. In the next lesson, we're going to continue with the final uh, setup. Thank you.